Hello, ladies, gents, and chubby chasing chodes, jumping chooch. We return to Celeste, our wonderful playthrough that has brought us all kinds of despair. I've mostly worked out the way to go through this. It's still going to take quite a few tries, but it's basically going through the far end. It doesn't seem like there's a massive problem with it. Like, I, I thought it would take forever, but it took maybe, I don't know, 50 deaths. And it worked out I can make it through the far side. And I have made it to the bottom. Ah. I have made it to the bottom doing this. That's not the way it's done. Mm. But of course, I stopped short of dashing through to the exit because, obviously, I didn't want to go to the next screen. So, that's the methodology that I have followed. It seems like it's doable on either side. It is so hard, though, for me to aim between the, g the gap that I'm supposed to uh, aim between. So, it's still going to take a few tries, but not the horrendous pain that we would normally experience. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, if I had not taken a good 50 deaths in between the episodes... We do need to press the down arrow to go a little bit faster there. Well, it's not going to work out. And we need to start with a wave dash. So we can use that dash in a more constructive way. Damn it. It's still going to take quite a few deaths. And this is one of those screens that is kind of almost designed to make your death count go higher. Because who does this? without an insane amount of trial and error. There's no way to use that viewfinder and say, hmm, I know that my downward velocity reaches terminal uh, at 1.2 seconds going down, so I will calculate the frequency of the horizontal displacement of these stars, and I can work out a mathematically correct path to follow. In one try, I can possibly do it, no problem. No, that viewfinder is there to mock you, is what it's there for. <laughs> Not to say that this is a resentful speech that I'm giving. <laughs> I had it. <laughs> At least I have the proof of concept that I actually have it. You know what? I need to do this. I think I might have done it, actually. I might have done it earlier. Okay, I don't think I have, because I don't think you can reach it. I, I just saw that wall on the far right side. And I was like, is this a way to become an alt-right Nazi? So I need to grab it. I think we can make this happen. Yeah, nice. It was not very many tries. What was that, 20? Psh, viewfinders are for the weak. Okay, maybe this does require a little bit of planning. Uh, there's upward window, so we have a lot of more airtime. What happens to this? Uh, we worked that out somehow. I'm waving my hand at the screen like you can see it. Waving my hand at the screen. We work that out, no problem. And then I assume that will transport us to where we need to go. So this viewfinder, I find it all, another insult of viewfinder. <laughs> Not really. Uh, work out an order here. I think we need to go under. Yeah, go under with the upwards wind. We should be able to reach the double dash. Then grab this one. Then dash diagonally to the other one. This is where the... Actually, I was about to say, let's see where the doorbell ringing moves this thing. But there's the last one right there. So you can only see where the platform moves once you hit that one. Let's just jump in. Let's see, how far do, does this let me go? Oh, well. All right. And the thing comes back. Well, that doesn't seem terribly draconian, does it? We can pull this off no problem. Let me come back. Grab me this thing again. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, but I bet. Like, how do you make it to the bottom there? Not sure. We'll see. Oh, of course. I forget every time, man. Every time. It's like, well, how do you do this? Wave dashing. You absolute moron. There we go. Oh. Well. Thank you for transporting me to where I need to go. Thank you for giving me an easy screen. 
among all the madness that we have to put up with. We have upward wind, so I'm going to assume we just need to reach that. Oh, gee, how can I reach it with uh, a little bit more speed? Ooh, wave dash! This did not, was not exactly what I needed to do, but I actually made it where I needed to be. The wave dash is real. I'm just going to hold on to these. Just need to make it to the... Oh, 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 made it! Made it, baby! Oh, I bounced! So good, so good! Oh, oh. oh how dare you do me dirty like this! Okay, at least we kind of have it. We have the gist of it. Oh no, how far this goes, of course. It doesn't look too bad. I was hoping to reach there without dashing, which it makes no sense because the trampoline replenishes the dash. I need to just stop being needlessly conservative with it. Alrighty. Oh, that's right. You have to let go. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, the upwards wind does screw with my wave dashing. It is a little weird. <laughs> I get so mind flooded. I get so mind flooded. Why didn't I have a dash there? That I must have pressed the button whether you mean to. It's like, why am I blue haired? I not suddenly embrace absolutely idiotic and crazy ideologies. Why did I become blue haired? Do that and that one. Oh yeah, that's better. Oops! <laughs> Turns out the descending spikes are very adept at destroying your life. Look at that! Did without dashing. Like a genius. There's some kind of weird street cred uh, associated with it. Did not expect there not to be anywhere to hold on. Clearly, I have to go under those spikes. Use that feather. The feather flight to go under. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we can use the dash to hit the top side of the. I jump backwards like an absolute moron. This this screen really looks super easy. It's just my complete ineptitude that is making me die a billion times. Compared to what we've gone through, this screen feels so much easier. If I were to lob a criticism to Farewell, it would be that. Like, it's a little uneven. Like, the, the, pro oh. the progression of difficulty, it goes, it gives you massive spike, then goes back down, massive spike, then goes back down. It's kind of strange. But of course, you know, it's enormous. It's pretty hard to balance difficulty in such a long... The trip. I mean, it was, it was probably on purpose, right? Oh. Fail. Quit life. Probably on purpose. These guys that designed Celeste, they know what they're doing. So they probably give you the peaks and the valleys, the troughs and the mountains. Kind of to give you a breakdown, then fail. If they had wanted to make a very progressive uh, climb up in the difficulty, they would have done it. So it must be by design. I, I am very much willing to give them that um, that much credit. Because they have definitely proven themselves where designing difficult platforming levels is concerned. They know exactly how difficult they want it, and they give you that. Hey, made it, baby. All right, what you got? We're going to jump on some ice cubes. Let's, go, let's find out what we have in store. This will be very much trial and error for me, because I'm not going to plan through all this nonsense. We're going to reach those. We'll reach them somehow. Don't worry about it. Question, do I get my dash back once I bounce on something? Let's answer that question now. I do. All right, that's great. That makes this screen not, not as intimidating as I first anticipated. Hmm, I'm seeing already the first kind of difficult situation here. That just really doesn't look too bad. I think the problem is going to be hitting the doorbells. That will be the, the main difficulty. Or you can simply dash through that. Fail. <laughs> Maybe. Press down that 
space bar that will allow me to jump a little bit further is going to be a finding out how to strike the balance between hitting the space bar and not hitting the space bar. Oh, I should I should be dead. I should be dead a million times, but thankfully they don't respawn though. I neglected to see that earlier. None of them respawn, huh? They just are gone forever. That sucks. I mean, some of them respawn. But another one's in the middle. You will lose forever if you squander the ones in the middle. That's a bummer. But acceptable. You know, we can hit that. That's the thing. Now, now the ones in the middle are gone. So it's a lot harder. Uh, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> it's oh, one of those really flustering situations. Oh. Can I make it to anything? Nope. Uh, in this situation, I could have just come back down. Because the blocks here, they respawn. The blocks in the middle respawn. So it's not that big a deal to find yourself back at the bottom. And it's not like you wasted the trip because you're hitting the doorbells, you know. What the? Oh, I was weaving my way between. Can I make, make it to this one? Yeah, oh, it's a lot helpful. A lot helpful. <laughs> Those are words that came out of my mouth right now. It's a lot helpful. Uh, it makes it a lot more straightforward. We can maybe hit them as we climb up. I didn't expect that to work out, so that's why I was not ready for it to actually work out. So maybe hit that one, hit that one at the bottom. It's not exactly the way this should do it, but yeah, only one. You can't use them anymore. I really resent the fact that those don't respawn at all. Warp, warp. Yeah, the viewfinder is another one of those that is just not useful for me. Well, there's so much incompetence going on right now. <laughs> okay, make my way up. Please don't destroy them all. Please don't destroy them all. Oh, what now? Oh, I got them, baby. Uh, they don't disappear. We can reach that one. Nice. Oh, man. I was so worried that we would have to do a billion more things. Oh, man. This wind is going to be very, very upsetting. I'm just going to wave dash. <laughs> I'm sure it's the way that I need to treat this. Wave dash three times in a row. Because it maintains the momentum. I mean, it doesn't give you a ton of momentum. Wow, this is really tough. Really tough to have into account the pushback from the wind. It is a big challenge. And of course, you need to have enough air. Yeah. Whew. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the wind. You need to have enough air to chain it. I think you go there first. And oh man, I could have just bubbled myself again. Okay, this is not too bad. You just need to put a little bit of effort on the first one. On the chains. Oop. If you hit the first one, the chain is actually really easy. I don't think we even need to dash. And in fact, we might need to go up first. Ow. It does disappear, though. So I think it's bubble first. Bubble first. Then make it back to the bubble. And then the trampoline is the last. Bubble first, do something like this, and then jump. Get back to the bubble, then to the trampoline. It's just the wind that is literally throwing me off. Damn it. 
really hard to gauge just how high you're supposed to be. So you don't miss the impulse there. Mm, I put too much effort into fighting the wind. But I think I definitely have the methodology now. It's just a matter of pulling it off. <laughs> he almost reached it. Really not, not easy. Not an easy. Not an easy jump here. Yeah! <laughs> Make it there, Madeline, you can do it. Alright, give me a, a checkpoint, that would be amazing. Can I even reach the stupid yeah. viewfinder? Okay, we can now float forward forever. Don't even need this viewfinder for nothing. I'm just going to wave dash my way to victory. It works. Ah, it works too well. Not really sure what to do here. I guess I just need to slow myself down. That's all that needs to happen. Needs to happen. Fight the wind that is trying to throw me into an early impalement. Wow. All a journey through horrendous pain. Madeline's journey, Mount Celeste and beyond. She just gets acquainted with the most awful agony you can possibly conceive. It is her eternal punishment. There's some serious parallels with Spelunky and Celeste, both stuck in a horrendous cycle of death and rebirth. Madeline and Paco Espelanco, perhaps the main difference being one of them committed horrendous atrocities against humanity. The other one is just sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> There's no laughing joke, like. There's no laughing matter. Not to play down. You know, the ravages of depression is actually a real horrible thing. So don't I don't think I think you need to ignore that that uh, trampoline at the end. You just need to go forward as fast as you can. This was super difficult though to compensate for the wind but still make it under. It's quite the challenge here. So I don't know what Madeline did to deserve this horrible thing that she inflicts upon herself. Ah. Will I make it there? If I completely ignore that other trampoline. The thing is, do we need to ignore it? All I need to do is dash toward it, you know? If I actually make it happen. So that needs to happen. Oh. 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 That is so fast. I can't handle it. I can't do it. <laughs> this is very challenging, this particular bit. Can I reach? I don't think I can. I think I, I simply need to dash off the air much faster. That's the main problem here. I am waiting until her momentum slows a little bit. I just need to make the second dash. I guess it will be the, the fourth dash in this big sequence. Hmm. While she's speeding super fast forward. So the challenge is in getting the that timing done correctly. I don't think we can simply ignore the trampoline. Uh, yeah, something like that, but not so quite. Like, if I dash toward it, that will be the, the way to get it done. It will be much better. It's a cool puzzle, though. Again, I, I just don't have the mental acuity. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Barely touched it. Did not touch it at all. Uh, I don't have the mental acuity to quickly dash backwards and diagonally. That's the main problem here. This is a very fast execution type of puzzle. There, I just forget that I need to dash diagonally and down. And that's the way to, to get it done. Yeah! That's the way to do it, but we're not done. Let me through. <laughs> oh, wow. Secret! No. It's not so simple. I think in Farewell it's not nearly so simple to find those secrets. Oh! I did not even see these spikes. To find this. This thing sometimes it helps a lot to look at the way forward. Some other times not so much. 
is there planning needed here? You just need to look at the where the doorbells are at and just figure out the jumps from there, right? Let's figure it out. We'll be okay. Oh, is that ice on the other side? Worry me out. Yeah, you can't hold on to it. Oh, complicates things quite a lot. Huh? How do you make back? But you didn't need to think a little bit about this. And, uh, am, I, am I missing something? Let me make absolutely certain. Make absolutely certain. Hold on. Yeah, you cannot hold on to that. All right. I have ascertained this much. Maybe you need to go under and hold back to the... Hold back to the transporter. Something like that? I don't think so. Maybe you need to carry on up. Like this. And hit the other one. Okay, I'm officially confused. There's one up there. An instance where wave dashing is not going to solve our problems. How do you hit the doorbell and then get back up? You do have a dash. That's so bizarre. Let's see if we can work out a way. I'm sure it's like pretty obvious. It's just not coming to my forehead right now. So like that. Does the diamond ever respawn? I'll definitely not do that. That's not conducive to my progress. Yeah. Oh, you can jump off. I think. I think. <laughs> I think that's doable. Yeah, I think that's the way you do it. You dash up and then you jump off. So while you can't hold on, you can still well jump. Mm-hmm. I got it. It wasn't immediately obvious, I don't think. You have to actually put a little bit of thought into it. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, don't feel too bad about not figuring out right away. It's not. It's not trivial. Damn it! I, I, the, the, the sequence of button presses is throwing me off a billion times. Alrighty. Oh, that's not gonna work out. We do need to dash a second time there, and I wasted a dash like a complete piece of trash. It's really not bad. Oh, it's really not bad. I don't know what's coming after. Seems a little complicated going through that corridor of the slidey, slidey walls. Whee! No, no! Ugh. Just don't think about it. Just don't think about uh, super wall jumping off something that you should be able to hold on to. Yeah, all right. I think I, I think I get it. It's just teaching my brain or stopping my brain from doing what it wants to do, which is oh, hmm. That last one threw me off a little bit. I thought that will have more more um, airtime there. Nope. I think it just needs to be done uh, really, really high up. It needs to be done fast. But luckily, progress is being made. That's what matters. Yeah, I, I just expect every time I get there, I expect a little bit of time because I'll be able to hold on to the wall, but... Yeah, there you go. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> I was like, ah, don't throw me into spikes. It was... Very upsetting. Very traumatic experience. But so far, this play session, feeling pretty good about it. We did get a little stuck in a few places, but not bad at all. Hmm. Not bad at all. I do wonder how much more is left. <laughs> Farewell is just murderous in its length. It's super long. Feels like there's a secret down there to be found. I must. I must try. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> Need to check it out. All right. Okay, I can't make my way through anything. Maybe there is a secret to be found. Maybe there is a secret to be found. <laughs> oh, well. I saw the shape of it. I feel pretty good about seeing the shape of it before I was actually forced 
to look at it. All right, we got an ornery block. I assume it will break its way through those. We'll have the double dash over there. Hit that doorbell probably before the ordinary block gets pissed against that. Or we'll probably have to hit it again. And then just feathers. I assume the ordinary block will have to keep going with us. Yeah, that, that seems right, like a reasonable path forward. Let's see what you got to offer, ordinary block. You spump there. Ah! How dastardly to pull those bikes there. Just to say... Fuck you, Bambleen! You're gonna get spiked if you're not careful. This is cruel. It's absolutely cruel. And you get the double thing. The thing is, the double thing... At least you get several tries here. How do you get it without getting spiked? I'm getting mine for it now. I just need to... Yeah, I just need to calculate, right? That's all you need to do. Calculate enough downtime and you grab it. It's all good. Oh. Then you just hold on to it. Oh, I need your ordinary block. I do need you. Thing is, it doesn't break through, so you just need to abandon it? Is that what needs to happen here? Is that the joke? I just need to abandon this block. Is that a joke? Let's see. What? Mm. It just feels wrong. It feels like that's not the shape of the puzzle. That's not the way things are going, Celeste. Please, ninja, please. You know how things work. You need to keep this guy all the way to the end. You need to keep this guy all the way to the end. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Need to dash toward it, I guess. I guess not. I overestimated the requirements now for this puzzle. It just simply doesn't seem like we can even make it out there. It is impossible for pissed off block. Or is it? Maybe then I need to... Huh. Oh! Right? What do you do now, though? We need to get this guy where he needs to go, right? I'm very confused. No! <laughs> like, that's doable, but what is the point in doing that? We have a double dash now. How's, how's that helpful? We need this fellow, right? Oh, I'm so confused. That is not necessary, but it worked out. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, maybe, maybe he can break through a different spot. Maybe he can break through, let's see, like the middle, break through the middle. Oh, genius level. Not really, but, you know, feeling good about figuring that out. Okay, he goes his way. Probably not downwards. So you do need to keep the ordinary block. It's just harder than I anticipated. No big deal. That's not right. Eh. Nope, nope. That's not right again. But thankfully it gives you a little bit of leeway here to mess up. Let's just go through there. Pissed off block will do something like that. Oh, that's right. Okay. So that's why that thing is there. So cool. Cool. Very cool puzzle. At first, I thought I underestimated. I overestimated the complexity of the puzzle. But no, I actually underestimated the complexity of the puzzle. That's the way it do. Wow. What an incredible amount of failure that I have managed to pack in such a small package. Uh, that goes off. Give me that feather. Okay, it's the screen shake, okay? It's not my stupidity. Oh, 
you do have to make him go down and then back side. Once again, I underestimate the complexity of the things that we need to do. Like this? He needs to do that and then we need to hit him again. What the freaking hell, brother? <laughs> uh, maybe that's why the viewfinder is there, so you can plan this stuff ahead of time. That is a possibility. No, he's not gonna make it. Let's plan this ahead of time. Goes through the middle. Smashes over there. And then he goes backwards, so you need to get him down. And that's why that block is at the bottom there. You use that to be able to get him through this. It will break through all that, probably make it all the way to the end and then come back. So then you have you can go back in. Alright, this is one of the feels like one of those like I said, difficulty spikes. You get a nice little bit of quote unquote easy puzzles. Then you get a, a pretty fat me one. Whoa! Yes, please. <laughs> Crush me like he had crushed my spirits. Alright, do that. Get me off. I need some way to make it here faster. Because I can't really reach the diamond. I need to hit him earlier. Let's do something like this. This, Yeah, this will totally give me the, the time I need. <laughs> you need a double diamond. <laughs> At least we got it. Oh. I've been utterly wrecked. Really like it though. Really cool. Really cool. Very cool. Can we do this? Yeah. Nice. A little bit of blue there for me. Oh. No! I had it. Oh, it was so pretty. It was so beautiful. Like this and go through. Luckily, barely enough. Ooh, oh, too much speed, too much momentum. But now that we're here, now that we kind of have a good sequence going on, not nearly as hard as I thought. It just takes a little bit of thinking, a little bit of doing, and then uh, it's not bad. Not saying that we're gonna get it this time around, but. Oh no! Mwop, mwop, mwop. Just messing up in really, really tiny ways. Uh, just little details. All the macro is done. It's just a matter of getting the micro right. Oop. Alrighty. Double diamonds, baby. Yes! Beautiful stuff. Still going. Oh, there's wind. <laughs> I was like, yeah, grab it. Grab the feather. There's freaking wind. That totally throws off uh, the time that I'm going... I think I'm going to be... Oh! <laughs> Do you guys know that the feather is not infinite? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Just cruel, man. Absolutely cruel. Get me through this. Ah, again. My brain was like, there's a gap over there, go to the gap. And the stars are like, mm, you chump! You thought you could gap us. But no, there's, again, one, exactly the same thing. Go to the gap. My brain's like, go to the gap, there's a gap, you can get through now. Stars is too fast. But now, what? what is the problem? <laughs> that was too fast for my own good. And now, okay, that delayed me, so I need to just die horrendously and try again. We got this. We got this much. What is going on? Now the stars are... And the do downward position is throwing me off a billion times. Can we please do this? Yes? <laughs> Where are you gonna be? There was some, something else down there that was kind of bizarre. No apologies. <laughs> What the hell, dude? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. The super 
neuron destruction happening there. All my synapses fired at once. I am now a second away from riding on the floor. There's a freaking feather on the bottom. It's like a shortcut, but is it really a shortcut? I think I'll rather try my luck through the the star gauntlet over here. Okay, please. Why? Why would you do that? Wow. I absolutely despise the, the whole star movement patterns. They're awful, and I hate them. Uh, it's only going to get worse, isn't it? Hold on. Give me a little bit of a break. Don't really know what to do about it. Can I even make it? Yeah, maybe if I dash straight toward it. What the hell just happened there? Maybe if I dash straight toward it, I'll make it there. I think I'm going a little faster than usual. <laughs> skip the... Skip the star. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's decent. Do something like that. Give me that star. I can't make it. Oh. What is this? Oh, Badaline has come back to help us out. It's over. It's over my my trip through this solitude, Fortress of Solitude. It's finally over. I can count on my bad side to push me on forward. What is what is this added to Madeline? I thought we were past this. I thought we were past this, but no, you had to be a total fart. I know, but come on, Madeline. Think this through. What's your end game here? I wish I knew. This is just a constant exercise in self-flagellation. All that matters is finding Granny. Then maybe I can bring her home? Even if the whole universe is against me, I will find this decomposing skeleton and put it on my on my dining table. We will have great conversations while eating strawberry pie. Um, hmm, aren't you worried about getting lost up here? Even better, aren't you worried about finding a decomposing corpse and getting diarrhea? I'll figure it out. Look, Madeline, we're in space chasing a mysterious bird. <laughs> None of this is real. You're dreaming. Thank you. Thank you for stating. She's gone. It's time to wake up now. She's just, all this time, she's just been writhing on the floor next to the grave. She's just been foaming out the mouth, having this incredible cosmic seizure. I can't believe you want her to disappear forever. You're always so selfish. <laughs> Madeline, I think this is projection. You're projecting. She's going to keep her cool. We need to take a step back here. How did her bad side become the good side and the good side become the bad side? It's like because Madeline is all bad, I think. I think that she's just a cluster of awful thoughts and bad decisions. And the purple haired, quote, bad side is just the actual good angel on her shoulder. And she just never listens to it. And it's just her perception of Badeline that actually makes her bad. What is the dreaded four color patterns that I have been uh, warned about? I believe they're going to kill me. Kill me dead on the spot. They're awful. And I look forward not to the absolute atrocity that will be the horrible pain that will be inflicted upon my person. So anyway, it's... Pink, yellow, green, blue. 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 Pink, then yellow, then green, then blue. I will never manage to get this in my head. I hope that you understand this fact. It's pink, yellow, green, blue. But I will continue to expect different colors to come off at different times, and it's just not going to work out. I probably need a, a dash to get up there. Alrighty. Okay. I'm going to get this done. Pink, yellow, green, blue. Pink, yellow, green, blue. You can do it. You can do it. Blue, pink, yellow, green. <laughs> That's just cruel. This is absolute cruelty. 
can't make it there. I can actually dash to it. This is probably a good break spot, but I don't really want to stop yet. No. Nope. Anyway, I do need to think that one through. Let me go back. Green, blue, pink. Green, blue, pink, yellow. Green, blue. How do you make the delay between blue and making it to the exit? Oh, you need, of course, the double diamond. You need to delay enough. What the freaking hell, brother? Because <laughs> when the trampoline is... You need to hit the trampoline at the very last moment. So you need to use a dash. Okay, I think I got it. You need to use a dash. Um... To delay yourself a little bit. I think that that's the way it needs to go. How did we get this before? I, I'm having terrible troubles. Holding on. I'm also weirded out by the sound that holding on to these blocks makes. Uh, did I suddenly lose all ability to hold on to these blocks? <laughs> Weird me out. I was too good at my job right there. Why? We got this done so easily earlier. What's going on? Yeah, yeah this is where the playthrough grinds to a halt, doesn't it? <laughs> if this, which is our initial, the very first puzzle, is this painful. What hope do I have? One way or another, I will get it done. You know me, on my stubborn streak. But I am honestly very, very put, put off by the fact that we got this done on like the second try, and now I'm just completely unable to do it. Yeah, there we go, okay. Hold on. Waste. Oh, I don't have a dash here, so... Holy crap. I guess we need to bounce twice. We need to bounce twice on the on the trampoline. Go one side first, then the other side the second time. Man, I really hope this is not the theme for the rest of the episode of the, you know, of the entirety of the levels. Alrighty. <laughs> I hope it's not the theme for the whole... <laughs> okay, I do need to hit the doorbell, friendo. <laughs> but I dashed. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm doing it too fast, that's the thing. That's the thing, like, this is going to be... A lot of try and error working out timings. Don't count to me actually working out the patterns. Count to me trying in increments. Doing it in increments. This. Oh, no, the pink didn't come back. Hmm. I go through it. Then I adjust the timing a little bit, you know. I think I need to dash upwards there just to delay the trampoline. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Got lucky there. Not going to even disguise it. What the freaking hell, brother? Probably need to hold on to the inside of that. Hey, the electricity is back. At least now it's just two blocks. Somehow the two blocks throw me off more. He almost got it. I don't think I need to dash a second time. That's super unnecessary. Or is it unnecessary? I don't know. Ah! If I do it fast enough. If I time it well enough. Like here. Ah, almost. I don't need to do a second dash. I don't need that. But maybe if I just jump. <laughs> But I need to wait a little bit longer. I don't need that. Thank you. 
forgetting. I don't need it. I can probably just dash right through. Yeah. Now I have the ability to wait a little bit. Oh, and then you hold on to the back of the pink one. Pretty neat. I like it. I like it. And it's not breaking my brain like other uh, far more terrible. Can you hold on to it? Almost. You definitely need to conserve the dash, though. You need to make it in there and then do something like that. And that will slow you down enough. Ooh. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, there's nothing to hold on to. <laughs> Don't know what the deal there is. We will have to look at that one. Let's see. You hold on to that side. I have no dashes left. So you also need some stamina. I think you hold on to the inside of the... of the musical note shape. And... that will give you enough time. Can you do it? No. Need to have a little momentum there. Can I make it into... No. You have to wait. You have to wait for this to swap over. It's not what you want, though. You have even enough time to make it in. Fail. No, because it needs to be gone by the time you get there. What is this nonsense? How did I get it done the first time? <laughs> I could use looking at the recording now because... Oh, I think I, I kind of get it. The way to do this is to have the spare dash. Something like this, and then jump, but not grab the double diamond at first. That's how you do it. Okay, do that, then jump, and that's the delay you need. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, man. You can still salvage that, though. Really way more difficult than doing it differently. This one... It's rough. Let's push these episodes to an hour. I'm okay with that. No, stop doing that. Stop it. You need to wait until that happens. You jump off. You grab this thingy. Oh, yeah. Give yourself the time. To fail that much more spectacularly. Oh, I think I got it. It's all good. <laughs> you need to jump back and forth. Okay, I think I, I think I almost have it now. Again, you know, these. No, that's not gonna work. Because it doesn't give you enough momentum get, to get through it. Um, historically, these are the type of puzzles that have most broken my brain. They are very big challenges for your big ol' Dummy Blargo. I think I need to hold on to the blue when you get I get that far. Like something like this. Nope. I think it's not trivial, okay? It's not a hundred percent. Oh boy. I need to look at it again. I don't know how to do it. Let's see. You are there without a dash. There's no way you have a dash. I think you need to jump from the pink. At the last moment. So you can hold on to the very last blue. That's the way it needs to be done. Oopla. At least we got a good method here. Ah. We got a good method at the start. <laughs> the timing on that continues to be tricky. Very tricky indeed. Can make it through that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did not expect that to work, but it did. So it's all good. All right. Back we go. The tempo of the... <laughs> The tempo of the music changes, or I guess the metronome changes. 
on every fourth measure, I think, I want to say. I don't know, but... There's actually three of them. Or every third measure. I think that's the proper way to say it. Anyway, it's blue, pink, yellow, so it it's not... No, yeah, blue, pink, yellow. So it's not... Uh, always the same. Oh, what the? Oh, of course. <laughs> if you're occupying the space, it will screw you over. Ow. And then you need to delay in the middle. This is like an assault. A direct assault on my brain power. Mm mm. I needed that. Yep, I needed that. But actually, it doesn't look too bad. Ah, I got too high. Just like all those times in high school when I had to skip class because I was barfing my eyes out. Alright. That is unnecessary, too. Like, uh... Wow! The delay. Like, it's actually... It gives you quite a bit of leeway. It's not 100% unforgiving. Yeah, maybe. I just tried to get too conservative. Too conservative. And that's really the problem. It's not truly that uh, the puzzle is really difficult or anything. It's just a matter of not being a total piece of trash. Oh, I really wanted to have the momentum there to jump off, but... The timing on jumping out of the blue was a little off. But feeling pretty good about this one. We're going to get it pretty easy. A little too early there. Like, the puzzle even lets you practice a little bit. Oh, made it, baby! Nice! Ah! You find there's... Psh. <laughs> Give me trial and error. We'll figure it out. I'll just dash upwards. I don't need you. Oh, this is some high temple stuff. Which is bound to destroy me. Alrighty then. Oh, that's not gonna work. Wow, this is uh, a little terrible. Oh, I thought I could reach it. I think you need to go through something like that you need to loop back and forth and stuff to avoid getting spiked just learn the positions don't go for the don't go for the doorbells right away just learn the positions and just go back and forth between all the all the bubbles and just wait for your chance wait for your chance to hit them now that's so much faster than we're used to. I definitely feel like this is just pure trial and error for my brain. Like, I, I can't work it out an actual good pattern to get this done. Are you freaking kidding me? I need to remember. Ah. I'll put some thought into it. I guess I'll use my brain. <sighs> so. We come over here. I think we need to just dash over it. Their timing is never going to be good. Uh, then maybe go forward. Hit that one at the at the end. Ah, it's too much. It's too much. I'm just going to jump in. I hope that I work it out. Nah, that's not going to. Maybe you go even backwards. Maybe even go backwards with that second, the third bubble. And we can get that, then we can jump over to the other one. Jump over. There it goes. Uh, jump over to that one. You do need enough air to get to the other bubble. Oh! Nope. I think this is a good method. I think this might pull it off. Oh, 
Oh, put me somewhere nice. All righty, nice, beautiful. Oh man, more tempo nonsense. This is just showing you the pattern, I guess. But we'll be okay. Hopefully we can pass this one. Which one? Okay, it's blue, pink, yellow. So that's coming up. Uh, it's going to be yellow, but I can't hold on to anything at the, the bottom. Pink? The bottom? Oh, you kind of need to occupy it. Like it's Wall Street. Occupy it and then hold on. Oh, you can't jump over, so you kind of need a, a dash there, which means another wave dash. We can actually make it there, no problem. How? How dare you? <laughs> Your timing has been changed. Your timing has been changed. Okay, we can do something like that. And we can serve the dash. Uh, excuse me. I think I pinked myself. I totally pinked myself. This does not good enough. Alrighty. Almost. And then we have to, of course, make it to the platform on the other side. That's not gonna be good. Can't make it. <laughs> it's a possibility I might be able to make it there, but doubtful. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a little too trigger happy. Nah, it's not gonna make it. Mm -mm. It weirds me out. It weirds me out how the timing I don't know if it's true or not but my perception perceives it as the timing is off sometimes it feels like it speeds up or it slows down just to throw me off that's not gonna work please you can actually you don't need to perform a perfect wave dash there that one is a lot harder because it requires you to jump some pretty tight jump oh what oh what <laughs> what do i do here what do you do there at the end you need a uh, you still need a dash at the end there you can't squander it okay that's that's definitely where you look at it now that we know what's happening you platform your way there you need a dash to hold on to the next one oh i didn't see the double up there so you need to hit the platform, then... Wow, that's not going to be trivial, is it? That's going to be a major pain in my asshole. Nope. The timing on these is probably the most difficult timings that we've hit in Celeste so far. You goddamn piece of trash. Which makes me think we are kind of close to the end. That would be nice. That's not gonna work. Maybe we can chain them. Nah, it's too far to chain them. Just take it easy. Something like that. That will do that. You could have dashed, you utter fool. You utter buffoon. Nope. Too slow. Too slow, baby. Ah! Jump in there. It does give you a lot of leeway there. Oh. oh, man. You need to time it so you hit the platform at just the right time. Do this. And then what? <laughs> I think uh, you need to hold on to the blue. Because after, after blue goes pink, right in the middle. There's the yellow. No. Yeah, after pink goes yellow. So the blue needs to be there for the double dash to be usable. But at least I think we got the, the theory now. It's just a matter of pulling it off. Ah, you needed that. You just need to drop and you will... The timing will be forgiven enough for us to make it there. Oh, oh! If you do it like that, 
while it's still salvageable at the beginning, it's not salvageable at the end. It does give you a little, a little bit of warning, though. That it's going to... Like, see that the platform goes up a little bit, I think? I do wish that there was a little bit more of a visual cue. I know that it's also in the audio. For when the next one... Like, it's mostly in the audio. For when the next one is going to pop up. So maybe it's time to shut my mouth and just listen to it. That is, I think, perhaps the main difficulty, now that I think about it. Now that I am putting a couple neurons together. Thinking about it. It's like, of course it's the freaking commentary. It's not my brain. It's not my stupidity. It's the fact that I am talking instead of listening to the freaking metronome in the background that is telling me exactly when the next block is coming up so maybe use that part of my brain my rhythmically challenged brain and uh, use the rhythm to my advantage look at that look at that oh i fail miserably Feel miss it, but we're almost there. I mean, the trial and error was working pretty well for me. I don't think that I should let go of it. Because we, we have the method already. It's just a matter of pulling it off. And, uh... With enough ma muscle memory, I can defy my musically challenged brain. Hate it. Oh, you... Did not pop up, but we need the double dash. How do you wait enough to hold on to the yellow without getting wrecked? So you, you need to do that. I'm so confused. Do you actually need the second dash? That is my next question now. Oh, that's just mean. I might be able to pull it off without the second dash. And the double diamond is there just because you need to delay a little bit to make it to the... To hold on to the yellow. What a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> I had it. I had it, baby. Why you have to do this to me? Hmm. This will definitely be the last uh, screen that we do today. Hoping to pull it off before it's time. I have to delay this. Hmm. See, the, I think the, the theory that I have is that you can make it through that with one dash. But you have to time it perfectly. So you can make it through there. Maybe a diagonal dash will make it. Mm. It's either that or you have to get the timing so tight that you can actually uh, delay enough for the yellow to pop up. Like here. Can you delay? Yeah, you can delay. Candling, candling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a what a freaking nightmare. See you guys in the next one. Holy crap. This is just wrecking my brain cells. It is awful. And hopefully you're enjoying every bit of it. Maybe the next one will be the last. Like it feels like we're real close to the end here, but of course I have nowhere nothing to go with. It just it just feels like it. Feels like it. Like we are reaching an end point. Ah, we'll see. See you guys in the next one. Until then, listen to your bare angels inside your head. <laughs>